Hello. In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of partial fraction decompositions. These are a tool that we will use to take the integrals of at least some rational functions. Let's illustrate this with an example. Suppose we're asked to integrate this rational function. None of the techniques that we currently have at our disposal are up to the task. But suppose we could recognize somehow that this rational function is the sum of two simpler rational functions. Suppose we somehow recognized that this is one half of one divided by x minus this rational function minus this rational function. Each of these can be integrated in a straightforward fashion using u substitution. If u equals x minus 1, then du is just dx. And this integral is just one half of one over u du, or one half the natural logarithm of u. And similarly, over here to integrate this. You can let u equal x plus 3. du then is just dx. And this is also one half of 1 over u, although the u is a different expression here. And of course, if you can integrate this and you can integrate this, you can integrate this whole thing. One half of a natural logarithm plus one half. Uh, minus one half of another natural logarithm plus a constant of integration. The process of going from here to this sum is the partial fraction decomposition. Let's outline it. Here's the situation we are in. We've got a rational function. And we're trying to write it as the sum of a simpler rational functions. 
And the way we do this depends on the denominator q of x. Now, the fundamental theorem of algebra tells us that q of x factors. We might not be actually able to factor it by hand on a practical level, but theoretically, every polynomial factors. And in particular, every polynomial factors as the product of a small number of possible factors. You could have linear factors. Q of X could be AX plus B times something else. You could have linear factors raised to powers. You could have quadratic factors. And these quadratic factors are irreducible. They do not themselves factor. And you could have irreducible quadratic factors raised to a power. Again, the fundamental theorem of algebra says that any polynomial can be written as the product of factors that look like these. Is. So we take Q of X, we factor it. It's written as the product of expressions that look like this. Each factor is going to contribute to this sum on the right-hand side. What I mean by that is suppose we have got our denominator factored like so. A linear expression, a linear expression raised to a power and an irreducible quadratic expression. We're going to take this rational uh, um, expression and we're going to write it as the sum of three things. And this factor is going to give us one of those things. This factor is going to give us one of those things. And this factor is going to give us one of those things. Here is what each 
which factor gives you. If you have a linear factor not raised to a power, that will give you a rational expression with a constant in the numerator and this linear term in the denominator. If you have a rational, sorry, a linear term raised to a power, that gives you a sum. A number over the linear term, another number over the linear term squared, up until some number over the linear term raised to this power. If we have an irreducible quadratic not raised to a power, That gives us a linear different A and B. That gives us a linear expression over the quadratic. Finally, if we have an irreducible quadratic raised to a power, that gives us something that looks like this, except all of these terms will have a linear expression up top. So just as with this case, our next term will have the denominator squared. We'll have a different linear expression up here. And we keep going until the power here has reached this power here. So, for example, going back to an earlier example, we were looking at this example and we said this rational function would break into pieces. One piece. for each of these factors. So the x minus three term, according to what we have up here, gives us an a over x minus three. The x plus one squared term 
according to what we have here, gives us a B over X plus one plus C over X plus one squared. And this irreducible quadratic, according to what we have here, gives us, I don't want to use E, that's taken, gives us a linear expression over the quadratic. And that's a partial fraction decomposition. The question of how we find these coefficients will defer until the next video.